welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can install latest version of mysql 8.0.x on, onto windows 10 so we are installing the whole stack of mysql so first we will check uh, how we can install this mysql server 8.0.x uh, that is the latest version of mysql in 2022 then we are going to check uh, like install mysql workbench in order to visualize the data and in order to configure our databases and schema then we are going to install uh, mysql shell so from command line so we can able to uh, operate the all database uh, commands okay then we are going to check like how we can install the mysql connector for java so j connector is a uh, basically uh, it is suitable for to use the MySQL server version 8.0. Uh, it supports the Java database connector to it. That is JDBC API to implement the Dev API. So we are uh, like uh, working with the Java language. So we are installing this connector in order to connect Java programs with the MySQL server. Okay. So let's start. So go to <coughs> Google and type MySQL download okay so go to first link okay so we are in mysql download space so scroll down and go to this mysql community gpl downloads so click here now go to mysql installer for windows okay so click here uh, you can see like a microsoft windows options one is like a windows uh, msi installer and one is like complete installer that is a community edition and uh, this is here it is written that 62 uh, sorry 32 bit but it is like working for 64 bit also so let's say download yeah so you just don't need to log in this so here you can say no thanks and just start my download okay so our mysql installer is downloaded just click it to install okay so we landed to mysql installer page so it is asking for choose the setup type so we are going to custom and uh, as mentioned earlier so we need to install uh, only the four at, uh, stack of mysql so first like uh, we will select this mysql server and uh, we are using this uh, latest version like 8030 so select this to be installed then uh, we are uh, selecting this uh, workbench also so we need this workbench to be installed so select this then uh, we need this mysql share also so select this okay and uh, one more thing we need one connector for uh, jdbc connection so we need this connector also okay so uh, let's say next so in order to install this mysql uh, uh, stack so you need microsoft c++ uh, distributables so make sure that uh, you install that so this installer will take care if you don't have already installed in your system so mysql will uh, install it on your system okay so our all products are installed so let's say next oh, one more next so here it is asking for uh, server configuration type so we are say, saying that configuration type is a deployment computer and port is okay and uh, then say next so it is saying authentication method use strong password encryption authentication okay so next okay so now it, it is asking for accounts and roles so by default it is a username will be will be the root and for this uh, like it is asking for password so we'll give for demo purpose we will use password as a string okay p a w s w r d okay so that is fine it is saying weak so here is option to add the custom user also so here like uh, you can add this role so you can mention the role here and name here so username username one so you can choose the host and you can like uh, choose the role also then you can type the password also and say okay so like this like uh, you can add the 
uh, custom user also but uh, for now so we are not adding any custom user so we are continuing with the root user only let's say next so here it is uh, asking for configuration of ms sql server as a windows service so uh, this is the name of uh, windows service that is mysql 80 then uh, we have a run windows service as a standard system account so let's say next so now apply configuration so these are the configuration it will be uh, applied automatically by this installer so let's say execute okay so it is saying starting the server apply security settings updating start menu links so this configuration uh, of ms sql is successful let's say finish so before saying finish so let's add uh, this uh, mysql configuration into environmental variables so go to the place where it is installed so my uh, c program files mysql go to the servers go to the bin and copy this path okay so now go to environmental variable type env into windows center now go to environmental variable then go to path let's say new not new just edit the path and say new here and just paste it okay so it will okay so it will uh, set home path for the mysql so now let's say finish so configuration is complete so let's say next okay so now let's verify it uh, go to cmd and type mysql minus minus version so our uh, mysql is installed here so it is showing version as a 8.0.30 that is windows 64 bit and uh, microsoft community server sorry mysql community server gpl okay so now uh, let's say finish so that like our workbench will be started and mysql shell also started okay so this is the mysql workbench page so here it is connected to local instance of mysql IT. so this is the service name that we already seen on the port uh, 3303 with the user root so double click on this in order to go inside so it is asking for password in order to connect with local host so our password will be password string let's say okay okay so now here there is a administration page where uh, you can see is the server status double click on server status okay so it is telling the uh, connection details for the my local mysql so this is desktop name this is port this is version and this is path okay so now we want to verify a few schemas before that we will check uh, and the shell version of uh, mysql okay so this is the mysql command line so enter password here so now it is connected to mysql shell so here it is asking for command now so here show data basis semicolon so yeah so by default uh, it is showing like information schema mysql performance schema says so these are default schemas then we can create one more schema also so let's say create database let's say mysql demo oh we missed the semicolon let's do it again So it is saying query okay one row affected so now again we will uh, hit show databases then you can see one more mysql demo it is uh, created the schema okay so now uh, by using mysql workbench so we can verify this so this is uh, by default uh, database so to go to schemas refresh this so you can see this mysql demo schema is created okay so it, it don't have any tables okay so now uh, go to this mysql demo uh, 
go to this table let's say create table okay so new table so i'm creating employee table for demo purpose to verify it if database commands are working so let's say table name is uh, employee okay so in this table name employee so we need to add the columns so you can say emp id and we can say this is the primary key and this is not null also then we say emp name emp name okay this is varchar and this is not null also so this uh, like uh, this is the table we are creating with these two columns let's say apply so this is the create query it is firing let's say apply okay so our employee table is created click on here this table icon so here it will show this select from mysql demo dot employee so we have these two fields are created columns are created so you can see these columns are created now we will insert some data so now let's insert some data into this table so select this uh, employee table and let's say insert uh, statement okay so here automatic insert statement came so just we need to replace the values so we can add this employee id here as a 101 and a comma we have to add the employee name so that is bill gets this is like just for demo purpose so now uh, execute this okay so it is saying uh, insert one row affected so it is inserted now so let's execute it one more let's say employee 0102 and uh, here you can see uh, mask execute it again okay so we have uh, insert statement that is one row affected so we have two uh, records are inserted let's verify it by executing this select statement so you can see uh, like uh, two records are inserted so uh, this way like uh, we can uh, uh, create the table then we can select the table and from command line also like uh, you can execute this command so this command you can execute via command line also yeah so you got these two rows okay so this way like uh, we can uh, install mysql workbench mysql server uh, mysql shell and mysql j connector so in subsequent session like uh, we are covering like how we can connect uh, jdbc connect how we can do the jdbc connection with java and mysql and uh, we will try to create uh, tables and uh, try to operate the crude operations by using java and mysql so stay tuned for further session thanks a lot for watching